This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2024 Blue and Gray region of the Oldsmobile Club. Uh, their Pontiac Buick Olds Cadillac show over here at EMMR. We're checking out finally some rocket power. This is the 67. Uh, oh, foo! Mine just slipped. These things are so big. Delta 88, thank you. Da. Their version of a full size <coughs> sports car. <laughs> but it's cool, you have to admit. And this is what was really in 67. This is what you got fine roof, black interior. Pretty cool. And of course, V8 automatic power steering, power brakes. <coughs> Going over to the 76. Oh, excuse me, Cutlass Supreme. Can I bring my, oh, my water's in the uh, flea, that's right. I always carry water. On all these hot days, please, 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 folks, always carry your water. Uh, you will need it. I like all the paraphernalia over there. That is nice. This has been shown through Hershey. I like the presentation. Oh, this is Paul Myers. Hey, Paul. Nice original cars. Again, look at that roof line. Remember in the uh, Cadillac, they were carrying that in the uh, Fleetwoods. It came back. GM really had fun with that uh, in the 40s, if memory serves me correct. We've seen this guy show olds before. It's nice that he shows up. Mm. Powered by olds. That's one good thing about the dual headlights. You could get air scoops in there. And of course, a little rally. Is this a, truly a rally? Ah. Cutlass S. Yep, Rally 350. Hurst equipped. Although automatic, all black, yellow exterior. Nice little economy car. Uh, this one is just driven by a little old lady, usually on Saturday nights or Sunday, 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 Sunday. <laughs> door? Door? We don't need no stinking door. It blew off with the hood. And fell off at the steering wheel. Oh, I'm glad he has the old insignia there. No, that is a fake top. <laughs> 6.42. Ouch. Yeah, the flea can do 6.42. The only thing is that's seconds. The flea does it in minutes. <laughs> Again, later 442. Fascinating is that the Oldsmobile Club really came out in uh, force. This is 76. Nice. Looks very original, which I really appreciate. It's the end of the hood, little 350, air conditioning, automatic power steering, power brakes. Is the Cutlass uh, Supreme. Again, uh, oh, excuse me, Cutlass Salon. Oh, I've got a Cutlass Salon. Okay, uh, handling package AC350, four barrel, 23,000 original miles. Wow. 
original paint and interior. She is so bright when it's not black, which is kind of an oxymoron when you think of what I just said, but I know a couple of you will pick up on it. The official pace car in 85. You can see how they really shrank. This is the second shrinkage. And fortunately so. Just got a little bit too small. This is uh, Calais 500. In my humble opinion, it just went too small, but look at the comparison. Mm. Alero, or is this, no, Aurora, excuse me, Aurora. This is the swan song. This is 2003 with only 42,000 on it. This is the final 500. GM in their infinite wisdom. Right before their 100th anniversary discontinues Oldsmobile. They had botched it up so much. It just, it was crazy. Just crazy what they did. Hang on one second, I'm gonna switch back. And that's perfect for this weekend, by the way, because this is Memorial Day weekend, and it'll be running later today. This is from Harris of Lansdale, PA. It just melded so much into, I mean, no difference between this and Buick. It's a shame. We're coming back to our Cutlass again. This is when Cutlass was in its heyday. I don't know how many hundreds of thousands they were selling a year 72 again this is the perfect cutlass you look at it with the vinyl roof automatic power steering power brakes v8 that's what america wanted at the time and they bought it and olds was riding high here's a w31 package you can see what it does over there. 1970. As original as I could keep it for 60 years. And I think he's doing a fine job. Absolutely fine job of it. It's a nice three pedal edition. That is unusual because so many people bought these in an automatic. But this car was meant to go. I so appreciate seeing original. Now think of it this way. If you're going out to buy this car in 1975 or 19, let's even go up 1980. This is what you'd see on the used car lot. Again, this is a 70 original W31 Cutlass. I did a video of this F15. You've got to watch it. It's really cool. There's the Oldsmobile turbo rocket fluid. It's actually alcohol. But they injected it in to the uh, turbocharger uh, to keep it cool. That's the inevitable uh, aluminum 315 V8, which they later sold to uh, England, and it powered everything from Rovers to Morgan. Uh, oh, gosh. I can't even count the uh, cars. TVR, I think, had it. Everyone had one. And this was driven in from West Virginia with the top down today. Perfect. Check out the video, by the way. We're going to end it over here with this beautiful <coughs> cutlass. That is pretty color. This is highly unusual. Highly Take unusual. This. Just Inline straight. six. Flat. Manual flat the, the steering. Manual. No, power steering. Manual <clears> brake. <throat> wow. Very unusual. Very unusual. And it, it gets its name, honestly. The mud wasp is because when we took it apart, it had the dauber nest all through it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Literally, they're like this big. Yeah. Well, they appreciate nice cars. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this is great. How the how many sixes did they make? You have any clue? No, I don't. Um, it wasn't you know it wasn't popular because you could get a V eight pretty easily. Yeah, um, but, and it's uh, not even a hundred dollar option. It's yeah. less. So the the six is but the six is reliable. It's fuel efficient. Um, it runs great. We've upgraded it with a four barrel on it mm -hmm. and um, and a modern transmission behind it. But we like it a lot. Uh, it's it's way more way more reliable way more modern way more reliable yeah. than the jet fire over here it, oh it yeah does, <laughs> does much better where you going apples to oranges yeah well so. but it's the same car seven years later yes you know, really well it's totally different because yeah. this was not built off the corvair platform right. yeah and you know you were saying that the uh 215 yeah. uh, with that sap was not that reliable yeah. why do you think they sold it to england yeah. it's not reliable oh we want it yeah. by jove <laughs> yeah, the, I, I don't i don't agree with that i i in my experience the 215 is an awesome engine that runs yes. terrifically the turbo setup is really finicky yeah and really unreliable that's why they pulled them all in 64 and put four barrels on them yeah i have a parts car that has has a four barrel setup on it um, mm -hmm. because of that but it has the tur all the turbo stuff mm. and um you know it just it just was too finicky too too many connections yep. too many problems and the mechanics weren't up to it no they weren't they, they didn't, didn't want to learn new yeah, stuff they didn't know enough it takes a tuner to know what it is they got we have two guys that um there's one in minnesota jim noel who's is getting older and he was the guy that already he built my turbo for me rebuilt it and then there's a gentleman in uh uh, Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, Brazil, Indiana, Eric Jensen, and he's a uh, refrigerator engineer, and he knows everything. Like, if there's a problem, I can go to him, he, he helps. So. That's, that's, I'll tell you, get involved with the club, get involved with yeah. the community now. They're both Old, Oldsmobile Club of America yeah. guys, yeah, and that's been really helpful. And yeah. Facebook, you know, we have a good Facebook group. Well, Facebook gives you in contact with a lot yep. of other owners and such, and experts, which is great. The more communication you have, the better off you are, yeah, especially with something a little bit more unusual. Yeah, something weird, yep. Yeah, I still can't believe this is a six. This is probably the first Cutlass six I have ever Scene. That was one of the reasons why we chose to keep the six in there. One was because I was in high school and you know. Yes. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> Dad wanted to keep me safe. And the other one was because you never see them, you know. No. No. Everyone swaps them out or like they, there weren't oh, many made originally. Yep. And... It's like a Camaro six cylinder. Yeah, right. I mean, except for this is probably a lot more rare than a Camaro six cylinder. Yeah. It's fun to drive. The nice thing is that it. Um, Olds just sourced the 250 from Chevy, mm -hmm. so it's got you know uh, parts. Uh, parts are available. You can fix them. Yeah, uh, runs good. You know, there's no issue with it. That's great. And you kept them safe through high school. Yeah. Yes. That works. I, there's probably are lots of things that I don't know about that <laughs> we're not safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. We didn't. We we don't tell our kids yeah. about oh, us. I know, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we go through. Every generation goes through. Thank you. No problem. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2024 Pontiac Buick Olds Cadillac uh, Show at EMMR, hey. put on by the blue and gray region of the Oldsmobile Owners Club for more cool events like this and to promote your events. Make sure uh, you check out northeastwheelsevents.com, southeastwheelsevents.com, ukwheelsevents.com, and while you're there, post and promote your events. I'll see you at the shows.